The, but, but one of the things that sucks about getting old is, is that time just goes whip and it goes like a bat out of hell. And all of a sudden you go, really? I've got a birthday coming. I go, it can't be that old, I, but I am. Why? Because the last 20 years went by in a blink. So for you, any kids out there listening, hang on to every moment, every moment you possibly can. And it won't help because once, once it starts hitting away at you, eventually, boop, and then you turn around, you go, holy God, I'm 50. Who knows where the time goes? But that's that's a little too depressing. I was trying to keep it. Can't keep, I was going to keep it upbeat. I'm not going to keep it upbeat. It's insane what's going on. You know, a hurricane in California, uh, you know, another insane fire uh, up there. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, you know, they, they still haven't uh, figured out there's 1300 people missing in Lahaina. Uh, it, it, the list goes on. And, and there's a debate. Um, the Republicans are debating. Yes, they are the presidential candidates for the, uh, in Wisconsin, they're going to be out there telling us all the things they're going to be doing for us. It's quite exciting. So that'll be on uh, August 23rd. Quite, quite thrilling uh, as we watch them really take a focus on, uh, on, on on our problems and what needs to be done. I'm sure there'll be so many solutions. We'll be just stunned, stunned by the solutions because uh, that isn't the way it works. I mean, that's just too bad. It doesn't mean we wish we had solutions. We're not. They basically will tell us that things are shitty and they're going to make them better. And then the uh, the Democrats will might ha- have a debate or he'll just debate himself, which would be more than possible at his age. The amount of conversations I have a day in my head are staggering. Uh, and sometimes a whole community shows up of people uh, that I don't even know. And uh, I shake their hands and we, I try to tell them what I might do if I were the president. And they just laugh and wander away. And, uh, and then I get to nap. But I've, I've kind of digress there. It's no, it's just extraordinary. I, I, and meanwhile, they're they they they're yelling that he's not going to show up. But they won't. Uh, the only one is Christie is the one who's really a, a barking at him. But the others are like, well, you know, he's, this is a weaponized uh, Justice Department. These people are. There's four indictments. At what point do you not figure out that one of them might uh, actually uh, have something to do with reality? Uh, or that they all might, but at least one of them might, that you might just zip it, okay? And stop undermining the, the, the fucking government that you want to be the, the president of, okay? You want to be president, but you just want to undermine the justice. What are you going to do to the Justice Department, huh? That's going to make it better. It's lawyers, you idiot. That's the deal. And they're no fun. And they go after people, and they have from time immemorial, and they're, they certainly have been, you know, they're not trying to stop him from running, okay? That was never the intention. This should have been done earlier, sure. It should have. But it, justice moves slowly, and every one of those assholes running knows it, okay? Because every one of them was uh, is either a lawyer or was going to be a lawyer or fucking knows the law and and somehow have gotten lost in this, whatever this is with Trump, who's not even going to be at the debate because he's, I just I was reading here today that he's going to be interviewing with Tucker Carlson that night. He'll be talking to him. Well, that certainly is going to clear things up. I think we'll get a real good idea of just what he's going to do to make it better because it was great. Everything was great. Everything was perfect. It couldn't have been better. Uh, the economy was spectacular. And uh, I just heard this thing. Bob Woodward was speaking. Um, I was up at, uh, in uh, Jamestown and went down to Chautauqua. I was down there. And uh, he was speaking there and uh, pointed out that I didn't realize in his book that he had said uh, one of the things that he had said to, to Bob Woodward was uh, that he would... Um, that the cure, that the, essentially he would announce his plan for dealing with COVID, and he had a perfect plan. Yeah, you know, let me get this straight. So he said uh, he had 106 days to uh, that in, 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 in which he would get the plan out there, and the 106th day, of course, would be just before the election. Okay, 
That was when he was going to announce his plan for COVID in 2020. So in November of 4th, 20, or November 3rd, 20, whenever it was, <laughs> but we voted. And it's unbelievable. And the reason he didn't want to do it beforehand uh, was people would forget. I, wow, I mean, whew. and then you wonder if he uh, was rabid to get elected again, that he had this really great plan he didn't tell us about. Some years we forget it. And then he never told us what it was anyway. So what difference does it make? And I'm sure we'll hear the same thing from the Republicans. And we got no plans coming from the Democrats. You know, they, uh, they're they fighting amongst themselves because <laughs> the Republicans are setting up, you know, the Republicans are like f- fighting ghosts at times. You don't really know what it is you're fighting um, when you're de- debating someone like Lauren Boebert or uh, Mean Joe <laughs> Mean Joe Green, <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Green. Wow. Just extraordinary. It's extraordinary time. And that that debate will be so interesting. And God, and the kids watching it, I'm sure, will be thrilled to know that that's, that's the, the, the best that we can do. That's the group, really. And they won't stand up. Just None of them, except Christie. Uh, who who was one of the reasons Trump ended up where he did in the first place. It's beyond belief. It is beyond fucking belief. <laughs> and that's all I can say. There's no joke. There's no nothing. Just, oh, my God, stand back. My mouth is wide open and three moths fly in. And uh, and it's the, it turns out to be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> wow. And that's as close as I'm going to come to a joke on that one.